All right, this is PDCO week two, going against Ted. Good luck and have fun. I've never played against Ted before, um, but we know Ted, so should be a fun match, should be a good match, let's see. I'm using the iPhone capture card today because um, we are away from home, so hopefully the quality is decent, decent enough at least. Um, I typically don't do something like a just a generic follow me trick room, but I kind of want to go for it um, and see what he, see how he counteracts it. Um, although honestly, leading Rapid Ash is not the worst. Let's see if he leads Metagross. I don't mind this. I'm gonna do this because I want to try it. And then I guess if this doesn't work, we go something like Rapidash Sableye maybe next time. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Ooh, there I am. All creamy Gudra. Oh, is he going with a decorate? Wait, does follow me? Shoot. Okay, this is fine, actually. Oh, this is actually super fine. Oh, Ice Beam. Okay, it's Ice Beam. Okay, so it's... We're not scared of Ice Beam at all. We didn't bring anything weak against Ice Beam. Um, so I think we just go follow me. Trick Room? Trying a never before tried strat. Tried strat. Never before used. Follow me Trick Room. Okay, is he going for the Decorate? Probably. Which is actually fine with me. It's totally fine with me. So the, since I had an ice beam, it's either mixed or just special. Fake tears? Ooh, cool. Okay, fake tears. No decorate. Interesting. So he's getting, he's getting special defense boost, which is fine. Um, like, do we just protect here? Or do we moon blast? Or do we, nah. I mean, we could just moon blast it, figure out if it's weakness policy. Uh, I do want to get rid of this all creamy though. So maybe we side shock it. Although if we bring in Pharaoh, um, and there's really not much for us to do here. I guess I guess we go for this actually. Oh, cool. Licky licky. Okay. Is it weakness policy? We lower special attack, huge. Huge, okay, awesome. Okay, does it max flare? That is really good to know. And we also know the all creamy scarf. So it's probably, it could have decorate as well. Um, I think we go grab locked. Like he could just totally switch in. Uh, Like, he could just totally switch an all creamy here, but I don't think I care. <laughs> Let's see if the Licky Licky protects. I could see protect coming up, but it, honestly, it's fine, because we're boosting our attack. And then we'll be able to one-shot the Gudra with an Ice Punch, hopefully. 
the issue is we are running, I mean, we, we need to, we really need to do a lot of damage before Trick Room um, is done. Get him, Octo. Still has a ton of damage. Wormwind. Eh, that stinks. Okay. So I think we actually go for a Helping Hand Hailstorm. I think that takes out Gudra, but if it doesn't, well, at least we'll know that it doesn't. I'm curious to see if this does. We really need to get some momentum rolling for a Dynamax because like, even though his Dynamax is up, we really haven't done a whole lot. I mean, we did damage the Licky Licky, but... See if this Okos. I don't know. It does. Cool. I don't think it does without Helping Hand, even though we do have Life Orb. I don't know. Well, it depends on Gudra's built, though, most likely. Okay, so we take a Gudra. That's kind of big for Ferrothorn in the back, actually. Riolu. Okay. What the heck is Riolu going to do? Like, are we scared of Riolu? Like, Riolu coaching Licky Licky, is that gonna do anything to us? Or do we quake? How many turns is Trick Room? One turn. Um, I think we quake. Um, and Pharaoh just beats all Creamy, I think, so I think we just quake the Riolu. And, and maybe Psy Shock it? Two? Yeah, I don't see a reason not to do this. I mean, he could have Protect, but like... Okay, he's coaching. Just boosting defense? Okay, we're fine with that. Okay, he is Sash. Oh, we could have just... Eh, that was stupid. We could have just targeted down the all creamy. I forgot Hale was up. That's okay. So the thing is, this is Scarf, so let's see what Scarf didn't do. Probably Dazzling Gleam. But like, now that it's Scarfed into Dazzling Gleam? Okay, I think we live another one of those. But now that it's start Scarfed into Dazzling Gleam, like, Pharaoh just beats it. So, all we have to do is take out this other Mon. Or the Licky Licky. Which... Hmm. I don't know the best way to do that, though. Oh, we already damaged it a ton. Okay, huge. Does he protect with it? I think this is fine. I think we literally just go... Well, do we sucker punch it? Does a sucker punch take out the Licky Licky? I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch. And then Trick Room? Oh yeah, this is GG's. Okay, cool. Okay, so I actually kinda wanna go with this same game plan.
And I feel like he might go with the Metagross, but like, like I feel like he goes Riolu Metagross, but I'm okay with that actually. Well, am I okay with that? Because he will definitely shred, Cle he'll destroy Clefairy. But I think Musharna lives a coaching Max Steel Spike with Life Orb, with Friend Guard, so. Like, hmm. I almost want to lead like Rapid Ash and like just leave Clefairy on the bench. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna to totally mix it up. Yeah, I think I'm definitely doing this. I'm gonna try this. Um, and I think Clefairy in the back. And like, I, th I kinda wanna go grab blocked. Like, I really want to go grab blocked. The problem is, I like I really like the sucker punch against the Metagross. It's just bad against the all creamy. But the Pharaoh. I mean, honestly, I could go. F I don't even. Do I, I don't even know if I need Clefairy. Um, do I need Clefairy? Because, like, I'm pretty sure he's bringing Metagross this game. I think I'm just going to do this, honestly. Or I could honestly have Trick Room in the back, which wouldn't be terrible. Like, if I had Musharna in the back, he doesn't have a great way to get rid of Musharna. Eh, screw it, I'm gonna go with this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have damage. I'm just gonna hope that Rapidash can do enough damage up front and get rid of his uh, some of his threats and then my slow bunks in the back and clean it up. <laughs> okay, cool. This is what we thought he was gonna leave. So, like, I kind of just want to do that. Or do we overheat? I kind of want to just do this, though. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best play. Because I know for a fact this is not the lead he wanted to see. Well, this is not great. This is really not gonna, even though we'd set sun, this is not gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah. That is not a lot of damage. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Words. 
That works. Oh, you're good. You're good. Yep. Nope, that's mine. Okay. So, I think this is okay. We get the scarf. So, like, the decorate won't go first. Which will buy us a little time. Ooh, that does not do a lot of damage. Ooh, does he hailstorm? I wonder if he hailstorms to say, well, that'd be bad. Oh, it's still slower. Ooh, this is bad. Wormwind. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Now he can totally quake us. Um, if a quake did that much, I think a flare should kill. So we'll do that, and then we will trick the Gudra. AV, okay, that's fine. Okay, so he only gets one decorate off. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. Okay. This is where we needed Mushana. So we still have to deal with a Metagross. Ooh, I don't know if we have it in us to do that. Dynamaxing Rapidash was a bad move. I need to overheat. Ooh, we can go for coaching too, that's bad. Um, he's definitely gonna max flare me. And I am like gonzo if he does that. Yeah, I think we'd lose this big time. Because now we can't even get rid of... Yeah. We're still going to take so much damage. We might die. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. We need to get rid of the real loop. This is super bad. So he's probably going to scarf in a flamethrower. Do we go for a double protect? I think we do. And we pulled our guys to real loop. Because we're dead anyway. Yeah, we really need Rosharna. Rosharna is way too important in this matchup. Okay, sunlight fades. Just in time for Graplock to get in here and get demolished, so. AV saving us.
Right, this game is winnable. Grab locked can win this game. The question here, okay, this Gudra definitely doesn't have protect, so I think we just double the Gudra. Although I think if he doubles the grab lock, he looks pretty good. Although the Gudra does nothing to save a lie. I bet they double the grab lock. No, they don't. Oof, yeah, he's dead. Ah, that was a good play. I need a freeze here. Or to kill. Oh my god. Grab locked, you're so close! We have to go for a sucker punch. I think he's got us though. Because I think two iron heads take us out. Or like a zen headbutt or something. Oh, if that ice punch killed, I think we had a chance. There's no way we do now. Yeah, two Iron Heads has to take us out. I think we need like a crit sucker punch. It does a lot of damage. Oh, he's weakness policy. Okay, well, we gained some information. So I think this game just came down to me maxing way too early against the freaking Assault of Scudra. Yeah, good. All right, Teddy, game three. Duke it out. So I think the Trick Room was way better. I think Mushan is way too important in this matchup. Um, we could just, the thing is, I don't think Clefairy's needed, so I think we just lead Rapidash. The problem is a weakness policy would be a problem. But I think maybe Wisping the Metagross is enough. Yeah, I, th I think it definitely wants that Trick Room. I might just go like something like this. Um, although honestly, like leading Sableye is pretty nice. But it just doesn't do anything to Gudra. It literally does nothing to Gudra. So... Honestly, see, like getting stuck with Polter guys like isn't the worst thing in the world. I think I want to do this. I wonder if I wonder if Clefairy is just too important though. So Cle Clefairy walls Gudra, but it is nothing to Metagross. Like Metagross just destroys it. So I'm gonna do this. And like honestly, I don't think he has a way to one shot. Yeah, I really don't think he has a way to one shot my Musharna. Like even fake tears. Well, fake tears Gudra might. Mm, yeah, if he just leads to the Gudra again, I think he'll go with the same thing though. Oh, creamy. Ah, it does lead to Alchemy Gudra. That stinks. Okay. Well, that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Um. I think he's just gonna go for this Musharna. 
which is unfortunate. So I think we go down to it. Unless we quake, but I don't know if I want to quake. This is bad. Um, I think we protect. This is a bad play. This is like a genuinely bad play. Maybe Clefairy was just too safe to lead. Okay, if we live this, we're okay, but if we don't, we, we lose. Okay. I thought we would live. I didn't count that. I should count that. Well, we lose. Um, yeah, that was our only chance. Because he can just keep worm winning us. We're dead to a max flare for sure. Dude, this straight up sucks. Um. I need to delete Clefairy. Um, I mean, I guess we go for this. Like, we're just gonna get demolished. Like, straight up annihilated. But honestly, maybe quaking is better. Just, like, give us some... I don't know, man. I think we can still lose, but that's okay. Like, Musharna was the whole... Musharna was the key to the entire game plan. I just let it die turn one, so... That's, uh, that's tough to deal with. That's way too much damage. We're, we lost. Like we can't, yeah, we have nothing. We literally have nothing. This is a GG. Um, I guess we can burn it and no, nah, this is a big GG. Like we have nothing. Just flamethrowers Pharaoh here now, probably. 
Well, we try to burn it. That's pretty much all we do. Make a hard read. Yep, that was a good good play. Um, yeah, let's just do that. We lost though. We lost big time. We don't have the. We just don't have the leads. We just our leads are too risky. And we just get demolished if we get counter led. So, I mean, part of it's luck, but uh, the part of it's just we just don't have the, the tools. GG's dead. Well played. Uh, I, had, I literally led, I had nothing that game against Gudra. All cream, I was just kind of hoping he didn't lead it, but that's kind of schooled me two weeks in a row. Just like hoping that they don't lead into exactly what, like, like the counter lead and they do. So I just need safer leads and uh, I think the team will be okay. But GG's to Ted, well played, and we'll be back next time.